and now let me show you the patch tool. So for patch tool you need to come over here on the spot healing brush and if you press and hold with your mouse then you are going to see these tools available which are over here. So patch tool is over here or you can simply press J and by if you just press the J the spot healing brush tool would be selected and then you need to press shift J shift J and until it selects the patch tool. So you need to press shift J twice to select that okay and now how it works it has the same option as of the selection so you can see on the top we have the new selection option you can see over here and if we select this this option this is going to add to already selection and then subtract from the selection so if you want to let me just show you new selection so if I make a new selection I it just works like a uh, lasso tool okay so you just need to make a freehand selection like this one all right and if I want to add to this selection I will select this area and then I will add more selection so that would also be selected you can see right now okay and this option is for subtract to selection so if I select and uh, if I select another area that would be subtracted from the selection you can see right now and this one is when you want to subtract from two selections okay so this is available for that purpose so if I just move it it is going to keep the selection only where I select now and it is going to just discard all the selection which we have earlier made go back undo and show you once again you can see if I have made the selection of this area it is going to select only this area and suppose oops and suppose if I want to make little bit more precise selection I can do this with the help of this one okay so that was the basic function and then we have the option of again the two options we have one is of normal and second is of content aware normal is works like normal from where we are taking the sample and if you select the content aware that is going to work better way in a better way okay so let me show you other options so in the normal selection we have the source and the destination okay so we have to select a source so source would be our selection and destination would be the area from where we want the Photoshop to take the pixels and paste there and then we have the option of transparent and these if we want to use some patterns etc that can also be done so these are of no use at this moment if you want to just remove certain part of the image and then we select the content aware in the content aware we have the option to change these structures but I normally don't do this it works uh, better this way so without touching these settings you can just make sure you sample all layers that is selected but if you don't want to sample all layers then you don't need to do that okay so let me select this dog and uh, let me first show you by creating a new blank layer and then let me show you how it works over here so let me make a rough selection and then I need to click and drag on the area something like this so Photoshop is going to take the sample from this area and going to paint over here and you can see it has done it it has sampled from that area the result is not that good but we can modify it okay so and now let me show you if I don't select the sample all layers then let's see what happens. Nothing happens because at the moment we are on this layer which is a transparent layer and transparent layer since has no pixels it is not going to do anything. 
So if we want to work with this, we need to select the sample all layers and then we can take the sample from other areas or it is going to show us the preview as well. So if you want to match certain lines, you can do that as well. And let's see what result we get this time. Yes, this time we have got the better result and again you can make the selection or if you want to add to this selection simply press shift and select more area and that would be added to the selection. So you don't need to go on the top just come over here and press shift if you want to add to selection and if you press alt and make a selection that is going to remove it from that selection okay. So these are the shortcut keyboards shift for adding to the selection and alt or option for subtracting from the selection and then I can just drag it anywhere and until I see that this line is perfectly matched and I will let it go and you can see now we have got the better result and with less efforts so this technique is also good and now let me show you in a normal way at the moment we have selected the content aware and now I'm going to select the normal normal option so let's see how it works so if I make a oops, if I make a selection of this though and if I try to just move it it shows that that patch tool cannot work because the selected area is empty reason being that we have over here the blank layer so this is a transparent layer so it doesn't have any pixels so we cannot work over here and you can see after the selection we have the option so if we want to fill it with the patterns and all that we can do that as well all right then in that case what we have to do if we select the normal option then we need to work on this layer so create a duplicate copy of this layer that way it would be a non-destructive editing and then make a selection and then just drag and place where from where you want the selection and until you match that line and just release it and you can see it has not given us the perfect result we have got the transparent options reason being that we have selected transparent over here so what we need to do uncheck this transparent option and come down and then again try to take the sample from this area and it is going to give us this result so let me first undo and try to do this once again so that we don't have that transparent option okay now we have selected we have unchecked the transparent and now I'll click and drag and until it matches this sh shoreline something like this and I will let it and you can see we have got somewhat result but not that good because the better result if you want the better result make sure the content aware is selected that way photoshop is going to analyze all the pixels around it and try to give us the better result all right so always go for the content aware tool or the content aware option so these were the two tools using which you can remove any object from your scene or from your images so one is a stamp tool clone stamp tool and one is a patch tool i hope you have understood each and everything but if you still got any question do let me know in the comment section so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode till then keep shooting and unleash the creative in you and my only request is that please do like this video and leave something in comments because it doesn't take that much to like and leave something in the comments but that way i get the motivation to make more and more useful videos for you so thank you so much bye bye